Microsoft Autogen team have just updated their Autogen UI project into Autogen Studio and now it looks more matured, much more segmented and much more usable so that it can be used with locally hosted large language models. Hi, my name is Abhijit. You are watching Note Together where I try to simplify latest tech and innovations for your future and your business. Let's get started. Welcome back. This video is entirely created using locally hosted large language models and it is entirely created based on the request from you. I saw a few comments from you on my previously posted Olama and Autogen related videos where you wanted to know how you can use an already downloaded model using Olama. If you can write Autogen user skills without writing the code yourself. If you can use Gemini Pro with Autogen and the last one I saw about if you can use Gemini Pro with GPT Pilot. As I was planning to create a video to answer all your questions, I just saw this update of Microsoft team updating their UI project into Studio. So I used this opportunity to create this video to update you both on the Autogen update as well as to answer all your questions. So this video will have four sections as always. In the first sections, we will download a hugging face model and then try to load it using Olama. In the second sections, we'll install Autogen Studio and then we'll integrate Autogen Studio with this downloaded model. In the third section, I'll introduce you an easy way to write Autogen user skill without writing the code yourself. And in the final section, we will discuss how you can use Gemini Pro model in any project, not just Autogen or GPT Pilot. To start, I came into my project directory and I'll create a folder called Downloaded Models and I'll go into the Downloaded Models. Here we'll download a model from a Hugging Face website. Now we are into Hugging Face website. Let's try to download it from GGUF format because you can actually run these models into your CPU only machine as well. And then we'll click Download. Then we use the Downloaded Model folder and save it. Okay, now our download is complete. We'll create a model file. Uh, we'll name it open chat model and instead of one we will give our model name there so our model file is ready and the next step is we have to run olama yet and then your model name minus f model file so we are in the wsl if you have not enabled wsl please enable wsl and if you're not sure how to do that i already have posted a video about how to install olama on windows i'll attach the link here in the description please have a look and just it here we give the model file name as in chat model and maybe name it as Code Ninja Open Chat. And then we create. Okay, so now it is complete. Let's test it out. It's the model loaded now. So test Python script to print one. Okay. And as you can see, this is working with Code Ninja Open Chat. What is more cool about Olama is that not just this instruction about loading the model, you can also specify parameters such as temperature to make sure if you want more creative output or if you want more predictive output. Uh, you can also specify, you know, system message or like system context as well. If it is for your any SaaS application that you are developing and you want this model to return respond in a specific format, you can actually specify your system message here. And then when this model will be called, it will ensure that the response will be in a specific format that you want. In our case, we'll be running this model with Autogen Studio. And in Autogen Studio also comes with system message, so we don't have to actually do that. We'll straight away use this model. Let's move to our second section now, where we will try to install our Autogen Studio and use this model in Autogen Studio. Now, as always, before we install and configure Autogen Studio, let us first configure our ITLLM, because by the time you already know that I like to use AI API server for any AI use cases. If you want to know more about AI API server, I'll definitely attach the link in the description so you can check it out. Now, I already have an open chat configuration specified, but I don't want to use the open chat model. Rather, I want to use the new model that we have just created. So I'll just change it here. So this actually, in a sense, means that whenever our Autogen Studio will hit the Light LLM proxy with open chat as model name, Light LLM proxy will call Olama slash the new model name to the API of Olama. To make sure that our Olama API is running, we'll just run Olama serve. And we can see it's already running. So let us start our light LLM server. Light LLM config YAML. Our light LLM service is started on 8000 port. And just to see whether our model is loaded or not, yes, you can see the open chat model is also loaded. Okay, so now we are in the Autogen Studio folder. First thing, we'll create an environment. We'll create minus n Autogen UI. We have already covered about how to install Autogen and Autogen UI in our previous video. These steps will be exactly similar. So if you want to have a more detailed steps, you can actually follow that video as well. Let's activate the environment. And install the Autogen Studio. Autogen Studio is installed now. Uh, let's see our Light LLM AI API proxy is running. For WSL running, that means Olama is also available. And now we will just start Autogen Studio UI port 8081. This should have the Autogen Studio running on 8081 port. We'll open Autogen Studio here. So in the build tab, now they have introduced three different tabs. So in the skills tab, you can add new skills. Like these are all user skills. It is more like an open AI functions. And then you have agents. 
like if you want to create agents to do a specific task you can specify in this system message here in this case we'll go ahead with the default agent that is already there so the existing one they have a primary assistant agent this agent will help in writing plans when you give it a task and also it can write codes and the user proxy agent is a proxy agent for the user so basically whatever instruction that comes from primary agent user proxy agent will just follow it or execute in terms of workflow at the moment the studio comes with two default workflow exactly similar as autogen ui that i have already discussed in the previous video the general agent workflow is where you expect a text output and visual agent workflow is where you expect an image output at the moment yeah, autogen studio supports interaction between two agents but they have already explained in the article that they are soon bringing features where multiple agents can be created and and you can create workflow to make multiple agents talk each other and i am very much excited for that feature to come we can really create very intelligent workflows if we have multi-agent communications that we have seen in our auto build video i'll attach the link in the description so you can see how multiple agent can talk with each other and complete a task with that said let's now go to our agents we'll use our own model here so we'll give the model as open chat uh, this is the same open chat that we are using here and we do not need any api key because we are not using we are using an api proxy locally and we do, didn't have specified any user key in this configurations but you, you can choose to create a new user key here to secure your api proxy um so this is running on 8000 port okay so that model is added next we will not use the skill that is already available there we are rather going to create user skill i'll show you exactly how you can create user skill okay for creating user skills without you writing any code i have created this gpt in openai so if you have an openai plus subscription you should be able to use this gpt i will also share this link in the description so you can actually use this gpt to create any user functions that you need and now we will use the gpt to create a user skill so we are creating a user skill to fetch latest stock price using y finance module so this gpt will show you step by step instructions as well so we are installing the y finance as it is instructed then we are starting the autogen studio again i have copied the python functions and now creating a new skill we just need to paste the code that has been produced by the gpt and now our skill is added let's test it so we'll test the latest stock price of tesla and it has used the skill to face the latest stock price which is 248.48 let's check it the real tesla price yeah as you can see it has used the skills that we have added now let's test another one we are now fetching the stock price of apple and there you go let's again verify and we can see it's the same price that's about the possibilities of using gemini pro apis with any project not just autogen or, or gpt pilot but with any projects unfortunately in uk google haven't released the gemini api yet so if i go to this option get api key in google studio it just shows me all the available regions and i don't see united kingdom is still available yet so if you are watching from any of this region you are lucky enough to try the gemini apis and i will tell you a way how you can use gemini apis with any of the project that you are doing however if you are watching from uk or part of the world where gemini api is still not out there so there is still a way to use gemini api so the way you can use gemini api is to go through the open router so open router fortunately have listed the google gemini api at a very minimal cost if you can see it here they're only costing around 4 millions of input tokens and 2 millions of output token with 131,000 context window only for a dollar. So this is really, really cheap. So if you really want to use it for your production use cases as well, you can still be able to use it, which is good because with Google provider, you can only use it for your development purpose. You cannot really use this for your production purposes because the pay as you go is still coming soon. So to use the Google Gemini Pro model in your SaaS application, you can still use the OpenAI API standard, which is good because you don't have to make a lot of the change when you're using the open router path. So all you have to do is just change the base URL from the OpenAI to open router one, and then just change the model name and add the API key, which you can create from here. And that's it. That's all you have to change in your SaaS application or in your GPT pilot uh, env file, and then it should work. So you should be able to use the Gemini, um, Gemini Pro API. Now, for the region of users who are able to access Google's Gemini API, but not able to use it in projects such as AutoJ in GPT Pilot or other open source projects where Gemini API standard is not yet available, you can use the following hack to use the Gemini APIs with all these projects. Now, legally, I shouldn't be saying this, but if the rumors are true, then this method is also working for the users where Gemini API is still not published yet. All you have to do is go to this open source project called Gemini OpenAI Proxy, copy the Docker command, come back to your terminal, run it. What this will do is it will create a proxy, more sort of a Gemini proxy 
but you can actually use the proxy with your Gemini API key but in OpenAI API standard. Let's test it. So now if I use this proxy and this proxy is running on 8080 port, um, now I'll open my postman I, and I will send the request to 8080 which is the proxy and I specify the model as GPT 3.5 Turbo. Doesn't matter because uh, this proxy is going to use the Gemini API in the backend. You have to provide the Gemini API key and then if I send it, see the response has come from Gemini Pro and the content is also coming using Gemini APIs. So that means I can use this OpenAI API standard in any project. All I have to do is run this proxy, set the base URL to this proxy and that will work. How awesome is that? Please try out this method and let me know in the comments if this is working for you. That's it really for this video. Write down in the comments if you have any questions or confusion or suggestions. I'll see you on another interesting project on my next video. Until then, take care, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.